Hello and welcome to the Wednesday News Show. I'm Matt Groom. Hello, I'm Hugo Pilcher. Roll the intro. So we're starting off with some trad climbing news and the news that James McCarthy has climbed the E7 6B Masters Wall. Now, you might be excused in thinking E7, that's pretty good, but is it newsworthy? Well, it's newsworthy because of the story behind this climb. Story time. James first tried the line in 2000 at only 18 years old. He attempted to on-site the route, but went wrong halfway up and committed to some irreversible, desperate sequences. He found a one centimetre edge, 10 centimetres long, and realised he could go no further. He untied, dropped his ropes to his partner Adam, who ran round to the top of the cliff. James was left on this tiny ledge for over 30 minutes. His fingers bleeding, his toes numb, he thought he was going to die. Eventually, he was lowered a rope and reached the ground safely. James was finished with climbing for a while. So he's returned to Master's Edge 18 years after that first odyssey, that first saga. Um, and he didn't have it all plain sailing. So obviously James is one of the best climbers in the UK. He's done E9s, he's done super, I think he's done that 9A meltdown thing in uh, yep. North Wales. But this route, in his own words, was his sort of bogeyman route. Uh, he had to lower off an RP1, which is teeny tiny, yep. and a skyhook. Um, but he eventually sort of like pulled himself together, got the route done, and it's just, I, I just love the story. For me, like that, when I read that his account of that that one centimetre ledge thing, it's every trad climber's nightmare. Like climbing into the situation where you can't reverse, your gear's terrible. It, it's just awesome. Also, just as a side note, mm -hmm. the only person who ever on sighted that route, Leo Holding, at 16 years old. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. How bonkers is that? Yeah, around like the late 90s, he was going around doing some pretty yeah. crazy stuff at the uh, in his late teens, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a brave man. Yeah. Anyway, uh, from one brave man onto one brave woman, <laughs> seamless link there. Uh, Margot Hayes has sent an 8C plus Wacker Flocker, which is a joke in the route in Rifle, Colorado. So nice work, Margot Hayes. Now news of an Adam Andra first ascent. Check out this video. Welcome to Kenmore. Impressive first ascent there from Adam, and he's in Canada at the moment, so we're expecting more videos coming soon. Yeah, absolutely. What's he else is he up to in Canada? Oh, we talked about this last week. He's about to go and try and do the Slathy Wall. Yeah, not in Canada. No, that's but somewhere might. else. Yeah. But just across the border. Anyway, speaking about borders, um, <laughs> it's actually, this is a seamless link because there have been some very impressive 8C bouldering sends, uh, starting off with one on the Susten Pass in Switzerland. Austrian 24-year-old Christoph Rausch has made the second ascent of Highlander 8C on the Susten Pass in Switzerland. The first ascent was made by Martin Keller after 13 years of projecting it. Christoph managed to do it in one day. Not bad. Things are hotting up in the Rocklands. Actually, the weather has been pretty stormy recently, but that hasn't stopped Martin Mowbrayton making a repeat of Spray of Light at Daniel Wood's route. This was the second go at it after projecting it two years ago. And finally, to round off the 8C sending train, Martin Stranich, the second best boulder from the Czech Republic, has made a first ascent of an 8C route to Kuti Stezti in Moravia, cast in Czech Republic. Nice work, Martin. Compared to Adam Sen, that seems a bit harder. Maybe you're catching up. Nice. So, 8C sending galore sendy train. I don't think that was harder than Adam Andre's route. Yeah, that was pretty hard, Adam. Pretty hard. Yeah. What's next? 90 counter. counter. So, controversy this week, or controversy slash mistakes this week. Whose mistakes? Well, ours, I guess. We kind of missed one, didn't we? Well, we, put, well, well, we, we didn't, didn't I don't think one. we did. But somebody pointed out in the comments last week that Sebois sent 9A a plus forward slash B. Yeah, ages ago. Like. Yeah, I think we probably mentioned it, but we were like, it's not on the 9B counter. Well, there's been people saying it should be, haven't there? And the barriers, have they changed? The, goal, the goalposts have changed, right? I'm, I'm gonna nail, no, this is, right, this is rubbish. Nine, Adam, right, Alex, uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> outrage. Um, <laughs> what is his name? Alex, <sighs> really good climber, blonde hair. Alex Magos? Magos. 
Just for a living. Alex Magos got on the 9B counter because he climbed a grade harder than 9B. Yes. And 9A plus slash 9B is not a 9B unless he gets upgraded to a 9B. I don't think he should be on. I think that maybe he should be on. Like, we've opened the floodgates <laughs> now. Let's, like, fully open them. Do you, Come on, do this you is pick ridiculous. an opinion that's just the opposite of mine just so we can get you two comments? But I'm just like, you know... I was like fighting the case for just nine Bs and then we opened up to nine Bs and nine B pluses and nine B forward slash plus and Bs and Cs, Cs and whatever. Yeah. And now we're saying that we can't have a nine A plus That's B. That's because it's not a nine B. If it was like an, if it, okay, would you put an eight C on the on the nine B counter? No, but it says like there's in the grade it's got a nine number nine, yeah, and it's got a letter B in there. Look, if it gets upgraded, if there's nine like B. the vast majority of people think it's a nine B, very happy. It's in the nine B bracket. It's not. Well, let us know. You know the drill. Comment. It is. So we are about to have the kickoff for the IFSC Lead Climbing World Cup. We've done most of the bouldering season. There's one to go. But yep. now it's lead climbing time. Uh, and the first one is in Villars. Did you see that? It was Ooh, nice, wasn't it? Gathering. Gather and a shift. Uh, so it's in Villars in Switzerland. So I think we should just chat about last year. Yep. And chat about predictions, possibly. Who won last year? So, Yanya for the women. Yeah, and... Uh, Roman de Grange yeah. for the men. Bit Who? of a surprise with Roman de Grange. Well, you you kind of thought it would happen, didn't you? Uh, I gonna... Did I? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, I did. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, I definitely predicted that. Do you think he's going to win it again? No. Ooh. Not because I don't think that he's good enough, but I just think that uh, the other guys who are all kind of getting ready for the Olympics and kind of gearing up for the World Cup, there's going to be uh, a lot of competition. Stefano, maybe? Stefano, Jakob, you think that maybe... I think Dominic Skofik might have it. Like, he okay. had a bad season for him last year. It still yeah. came fourth. You know, he, his, his time is opening up. He's still really young. He's now coming to this full-time climber zone. I think he could challenge for it because the season before last, he was really strong, really dominant. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm predicting Dominic is going to be up there. I yes. think I'm going to go for St Stefano. I think this year he's going to solidify his claim to be a big name for the Olympics. Okay, and for the women, I'm I'm going with the obvious Yanya. I just, I just think she's so dominant. I can't. She was amazing in the bouldering season, pulled back, um, and yeah, I, I I think it's hers to lose at this point. She, she's definitely the favourite. Yeah, she's this. definitely the favourite. I'm gonna go for a knack. I feel like she's on the pinnacle of something. I think this year could be it. In other news, somebody's got a got another little gig going on. Yeah. As if we don't work you hard enough at Epic TV. I know, right? Unless, yeah. Um, but I'm going to be doing uh, some co-commentary for the IFSC for their live streams with Charlie Bosco. With Mr. Bosco. Yeah, so super excited. I've never done it before. It's and going it's... to be like a kind of like a climbing daily takeover of uh, yeah, IFSC. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're getting in there slowly. Without me. Yeah, you, know, you, can, you can come. Get <laughs> your press pass. <laughs> Um, so that's gonna, I'm doing, the first one I'm doing is in Chamonix, so next week. Yeah. Uh, Vilars can't do because of the Arcteryx Academy. But, it, it's, this isn't a crossover, I'm gonna be doing it with the IFSC, but, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna have the Epic TV Instagram in my hand. Yeah. I might try to film some stuff. Your pinhole camera. Yeah, exactly, just a little GoPro. Just yeah, GoPro, hidden yeah, behind, behind your the hair. scenes. But if you guys have got anything you'd like me to ask the athletes, on behalf of the IFSC and on behalf of Epic TV, uh, please do, because I'll be hanging around backstage. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's coming up. So big time. Exciting. Tune in to the IFSC live stream. What's also coming up is we've got the Arcteris Academy this week, which is very exciting. It's come to Chamonix. Uh, if anybody doesn't know what it is, it's a whole bunch of like uh, courses and al alpinism, mountaineering, climbing, bouldering, trail running. They open up the whole of the, the Chamonix Centre for like people to come and climb and do whatever they want. We're going to be there. Uh, we've got some really exciting stuff kind of lined up. So just be sure to tune into our social media and Shows will be coming out like next week and, and possibly at the end of this week. Really exciting. Videos on our website. Mm -hmm. Cold House Media, as always. We churn through those every single week. And it's quite a cool one this week, isn't it? It's the Rocklands. Rocklands. Highlights. Charlotte and I went up to dihedral boulders where we climbed on, did some warm ups.
Come on. Talking about amazing videos. Yes. Uh, we spent quite a lot of time last week with green screens uh, and I did some acting. And this is all because we really, really, really want to talk about our sale, but sales can be a bit dull sometimes. So yeah. we were like trying to jazz it up. Yeah, and we did. We jazz it right <sighs> up. Jazz the hell out of it. Ooh, summer sale. Matt, what are you doing? You can't afford to buy more climbing shoes. Don't be ridiculous. With the Epic TV Shop Summer Sale, you can't afford not to. But think about your kids, the, the mortgage. You haven't got any kids. I know we we'll give you a mortgage. <laughs> you already have so many climbing shoes. But you always need more. And with up to 50% off shoes and gear, you'd be crazy not to. As your moral compass, I implore you not to spend more money. Or splurge it all on lovely, lovely climbing shoes and feel amazing. Think about the terrible buyer's regret. That's just a made up thing from boring people. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, go away. You know he can't resist a bargain. He's all mine. Matt, no! Right, Matt, go to the Epic TV shop, click the sales button, and everything is all laid out ready for you. That was quick. So who are you going to listen to, Mr. Naughty or Mr. Nice? <laughs> I don't like you calling me Mr. Naughty. <laughs> Um, before we filmed this, I got shouted out by our shop guys and they were like, mention the sale and also mention the package deals because there are package deals on the website. So much. I know, it's just so much sale stuff. But it Just um, basically, if you go to the website, it makes sense. Those are the two yeah. things that jump out at you. Yeah. But basically, there's a big sale. Bargains to be had. Bargains to be had. And there's big package deals as well. So the stuff <laughs> that isn't in the sale, you can maybe get in a package deal. Yeah, we love a package What's deal. What's your favourite package deal at the moment? Uh, harness chalk stuff. With what? Well, you just get chalk with stuff, don't you? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's it, I think. For That's the show. it. That We're was done. quite a long one. Ooh. And uh, yeah, let's know about Seb Bois because I'm sure Seb Bois is on Tinder hooks, waiting to see if he's going to make it on. Yes or no? Just, just, just reply yes or no with your reason. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.